Hello there. Uh, yep, it's me, Renzen Theo. Anyways, uh, the build I'm going to be using is ETW, Belagus, Chaos Ribbon, Shaggy. I would use Aquamarine, but somebody's borrowing my Aquamarine right now. Dreo, Fair, Old Keepers, Atlas, uh, Dehydro, and Breaker. And this build is obviously going to be nerfed next patch, but I like it right now. But Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a gameplay commentary. Uh, I wanted to see how this was received, I guess. But um, <clears throat> hopefully I actually do good in this video and don't die horribly. Because I've, I've done videos like this before. I've done, not commentaries, but like... Um, I, I've tried to like showcase stuff before and I immediately get terrible at it when I'm uh, doing this. Also here, an interesting thing I'm going to be doing is charge strafing. So uh, if I can... So mob AIs, uh, I know I don't know about all mobs, but uh, like the, the ones that spit out large amounts of projectiles like shotgun mobs, only reposition every um, like, uh, point, not point five, like 1.5 seconds or 2 seconds or something like that. Point is they don't like constantly, they're not constantly on you. So, uh, you can actually get out of the way of them before they retarget on you. And, uh, they will shoot where you were and not where you are. And it's a cool thing, uh, if you can do it right and Obviously, I don't always do it right, and it's kind of annoying that the inverter stairs turn invisible. But, uh, yeah, also, uh, I guess controversial part of my gear is old keeper's ring, uh, but honestly, it's ETW warrior, like, give me a break. I actually uh, saw an interesting way to uh, nerf Old Keeper's Ring uh, would be to give it E.T. Rex. I mean, I don't know if I'm in favor of that because, I mean, that's just going to... E.T.W.A. and E.T.W.F. are going to just use Old Keeper's Ring then, you know. Concentrate it in those quads because, you know, you're still going to have access to defensive skill points and old keeper's ring, but, you know, whatever. And uh, here, I guess what I'm doing is just charging back and forth to, and getting hit ticks on the mobs to try to get them to drop some emeralds. Oh boy. But, uh, this is actually one of the things that I find kind of funny about Windcraft is uh, ETW versus playstyles like WFA. So, uh, ETW, despite being, like, the most defensive archetype, like, or, sorry, offensive archetype you can get, you know, like, ignoring defensive skill points entirely, your actual playstyle is, like, the most defensive playstyle you can have in Windcraft because you're um, you, you have to dodge attacks or else you're just gonna get destroyed like I am about to be if I just keep tanking those inverted stair shots like an idiot I apologize this is like the first time I've played ETW in like a month I was thinking like oh my first gameplay commentary I should do ETW Warrior because I've been wanting to do a video on my EO runs with it but then I like do it and I haven't done it for like a month and it's great yeah you're gonna have the same skill you had a few months ago if you just go right back into it sure Ren anyways uh, I made it past inverted stairs uh, that's actually so I got destroyed my first ETW run uh, as warrior in Inverta Stairs. Um, 
because I didn't know how to like charge strafe because you really need to charge strafe uh, on inverted stairs uh, by dodging their bullets or else you're going to get destroyed. Uh, if you want to watch somebody actually do like lifesteal warrior <laughs> through there, like just get high, like watch hybrid. Hybrid is much, much better than I am at ETW Warrior, but whatever. Also, right here, I'm cheating and using uh, Amulet of Rejuvenation, but I would usually be wearing Aquamarine, so I usually wouldn't be at this health anyways, so whatever. Get off my back. <laughs> but, um, anyways, that is an interesting thing, I think, about, like, playstyles in Windcraft. So, this is actually a thing that, uh, I, I know Highmore talks about this a lot, uh, but I kind of came to this conclusion as well, independently of him, uh, and him of me, is that, um, playing a tankier playstyle, like WFA or, like, TWFA, will allow you to, uh, be more often, like, hyper-aggressive. But, as you can see there, ETW does have its place. You know, killing killing mini bosses in like a few seconds is great because if you ke keep them alive longer than that, you're going to be drowning in enemies, and you really don't want to be drowning in enemies for the mini bosses. Because I mean, <laughs> I'm playing ETW, but uh, I know my tank WF play playthroughs were destroyed by mini bosses because I just got swarmed by the minions. But that is one defining like great thing about uh ET ETW like these boss rooms let you play ETW like to how how it's supposed to be played or I guess like the aggressive playstyle of ETW because I mean honestly nobody plays ETW for the damage. They play it for the fun. You know, you're playing ETW because you want the challenge, or you want gamer points, or, you know, something like that. You're not playing it for the damage, usually, because, well, let's be honest, EDW doesn't get much better damage than TWF, you know? Um, but, yeah, that, that, is, that is the thing, like, if, we're, if we were talking, like, in terms of DPS, like, uh, tankier builds would almost certainly... Also, this is why I hate Mana Steel and Life Steel on Warrior, because on Warrior, you uh, bash and stuff knocks things back, and so you really want to stay as ranged as possible on Warrior, and Stealing Warrior has you going up to bosses and attacking them. But anyways, if you want actually to actually have DPS, you know, you need to have some level of tankiness, because face tanking a boss and using Curse and Courage is going to give you massive DPS bonus, you know? Because with ETW, and even, like, some... I mean, honestly, almost all of the meta builds, you know, in the current meta, uh, even in the 1.20 meta, I bet, uh, you're going to have to retreat, and that's going to lose you precious damage, and, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to powder curse or courage. And usually, the meta builds, you know, you're using lifesteal, or, or, sorry, chain lightning, to get your uh, mana and health sustain. So you know it's not going to be as much DPS, you know, because you have to back off. You have you you don't you're not using curse or courage, or you're not using them effectively. You know you can't just constantly damage the boss like you can with tankier builds. You know, and that that's actually with these ultra tank builds is actually the time when elemental defenses actually kind of matter. Like for the eye, for instance. I mean, <laughs> bad elemental defenses will get you hit with thousands of damage, ignoring your defense and stuff but anyways that, that's kind of like I mean you, you ju I just showed you in this video like the, some of the strengths of ETW you know I, I deleted those mini bosses whereas a tankier build would really struggle with those mini bosses you know because uh, you know those those minions would start spawning and you might get overwhelmed and die I, you know that happened to me when I was trying to play TWF or, or tank WF more like because I wasn't playing as aggressively but or I wasn't playing as, um, I didn't, I had a very high defensive SP. But po point is, like, my extra tankiness didn't help because 
the, the boss spawn were many bosses. Uh, many uh, minions and stuff. But with a pro prolonged fight like the eye, you know, your sustain, your tankiness is going to matter a lot more than your actual damage, you know, and stuff. But anyways, I hope you liked this video and stuff, and if you do, I'll make more of them. Um, I am not... <laughs> I am not going to record myself um, in a commentary fighting the eye in an ETW build because it took me like nine, <laughs> nine attempts before I got a successful ETW warrior run and I'm going to embarrass myself and have to scrap the recording if I try to fight the eye. Anyways, have a good one y'all.